Okay, this is the one year review of my Monport 60 watt manual focus laser. I just got through cutting some stuff and I figured I would do a, a review on this. We have had the machine a year, actually a little over a year now. Um, I did have to replace the air assist on the machine and I have got a uh, combination of it's a filter and regulator on the back of my machine right here you can pick those up off, off amazon i got a shut off valve too i'm using the poly tube that came with the machine the little air assist that came with the machine it died it gave out about a month and a half after i purchased the machine it is pulling all the air that is in the machine back into the pump and what it does most especially if you cut stuff cut or engrave anything that's painted it pulls all those fumes back into the air assist and back out onto your lens and I did have to replace the lens a couple of times. And up until recently, Monport didn't really have too many accessories for their lasers on their website. Uh, they've now upgraded that. There's quite a few things, quite a few components on there. You can get the tube. You can get the lens. Um, I can't remember if they got an air assist on there or not. But I, honestly, if you've got this machine, I would recommend getting rid of that air assist. Go all the way back to the controller unhook it take it out of the machine and run an air compressor uh, you'll thank me for it. the cuts are much smoother i'm cutting right now that program uh, all my cuts were done at 40 percent power 10 millimeters a second i'm also uh, sending the files to my machine and i'm using the ethernet port instead of the usb you you lose you lose some packets when you're using the usb um you'll You'll know what I'm talking about when you start doing some really intricate designs. Your laser will do some really messed up stuff. It'll it'll move stuff. It'll offset it, and you'll try to be figuring out why, and it's because it's losing packets from your computer to your machine through that USB. So connect to the Ethernet. That's one of the things I can say that I would do right off the bat if you haven't done that yet. Um, also, you will need some type of hold downs. I've got these. Uh, I made these, designed and made these. I don't have them in an Etsy shop just yet. If you're interested in these, um, let me know in the comments below. I might do a giveaway on these. I do have a square. I've got a new updated version of the square. That way it's got a hole somewhere out in here so it'll, it'll hold it firm. And you can repeat your stuff a lot easier. You can just set it up, set your sheet up on that, in that one corner and uh, just chive on. But anyways, thanks for the, uh, the view. If you don't mind please like share and subscribe but do comment let me know if you're interested in these i'm planning on doing a giveaway take care